Mr. Beast is the most successful YouTuber of all time. Yet his ethos revolves around a simple, straightforward idea. Contrary to the pursuit of wealth and extravagance, when queried about what his goals and motivations are for the future, he consistently offers a simple response. I believe the answer that he provides provides the essence of what it takes to be successful in business. So what is Jimmy, aka Mr. Beast's response? What is the sole focus of his endeavors? It's remarkably simple, to create the best videos he possibly can. For any of you that have watched any of Mr. Beast's videos, you'll know that he has immersed himself in the world of YouTube since he was just 11, making videos in his bedroom. He has strived over every piece of data, every analytics, to be able to create videos that no one else is creating. He has simply become the best in his field. And he's just had this one goal, to create the best videos he can. What can small business owners like us take from Mr. Beast? What I've learned from Mr. Beast is that he has this unbelievable laser focus on what it is he wants to achieve. So what does that mean for me and you? I think it means no matter what it is that we do, no matter what field we're in, can we pursue the goal of becoming the best that there is? Whether you provide nutrition consultations or yoga classes, or you create products, whatever your business might be. I believe this principle extends to employment as well. When I was thinking about this idea, it reminded me of a book that I read a number of years ago by Seth Godin. And the book is called Lynchpin, Are You Indispensable? And in the book, he talks about how we can, no matter what position we find ourselves in, so even if we're in employment where we're not particularly happy there, if we can be the best employee we can be, if we can contribute 110% every day, then this will pave the way for the best opportunities and freedom. Becoming a linchpin renders you indispensable. This is what we need to become, whether it's in our own business or in employment. Can we combine the lessons we've learned from Mr. Beast and Seth Godin then? I believe we can and we should. In order to be successful in our business, we need to strive to create the best service or product that we possibly can. Becoming the best that we possibly can be in whatever area we find ourselves in. This can lead to a level of success beyond what we could ever imagine. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.